Hey, welcome back to Triple R. Random Rick Reviews. We have Rubik's Roll, 5 and 1, Shake, Rattle, and Roll game here. Got it at Ollie's for $3.99. I think it may be a little cheaper. I think it was during that 33% off sale. Uh, two to five players, ages seven and up. Try a different challenge. Okay, looks like there's a couple different ways maybe you can play. Yep, five and one. So five and one ways to play. Let's see what we get. So just an unboxing. I've never played this game. I've never really even heard of it. So we'll see what we got here. Some kind of Rubik's variation. Not a fan. So I gotta reopen the, like the bottom of these boxes, not the top. Right? Yeah. Is that it down here? Instructions. This big cube of Rubik'sness. All right, what do we have here? Uh, fold out. It's not too bad, though. Okay, it's very small. Um, contents, 27 cubes. I guess that's 27. Each player takes nine cubes, put nine cubes in the shaker. I guess this thing. Yeah, all right. Um, play. One player sh shakes the shaker. The pattern they set on is the color pattern you must match. Both players roll their nine cubes. Wait. Oh, okay. So you have nine cubes. You put nine in the shaker. Gotcha. <coughs> this is for two players. Uh, both players roll the cubes at the same time. Uh, place the roll cubes into your grid to match the color pattern. Win. The first player to roll and complete the color pattern wins. So it's like, is that real time? 21. Roll 21 or as close as you can without going bust. Players roll 9 cubes each turn. Your first turn roll 9. Count your colors. The highest is your count and your color. Remember them. Okay, so bunch of, get a bunch of blues. Blue is going to be your color. You try to get 21 blues, I'm guessing. You can stop rolling anytime and bank your score. You bust if you go over 21. Player rolls 21 closest or below it wins. If there's a tie, I'm guessing these are all real time. Doesn't really say. Right, because you can roll at the same time, and then I guess you just, because both people could. Maybe I managed the win factor. Okay. Battle cubes. Hunt down your opponent's cubes. Each player takes three cubes and one grid. Okay. Hmm. Choose the color. Place your cubes. Keep keep them secret. Youngest player starts. For the A, B, C, one, two, three diagram below, above or over here. On your turn, call out the grid like A2. Your opponent must take the cubes off the grid if it's a hit. So it's like Battleship. Okay, so you play like a cube Battleship. That's kind of it's kind of reaching there, Rubik's. Three in a row. Get three in a row to win. Okay, place the grid. Player six cubes. Choose your color. On your turn, roll your cubes. Place any cubes you rolled. And you're choosing color in the grid. First player to complete... Three in a row, horizontally, vertically, or diagonally wins. Okay. Verticubes. <laughs> uh, roll your cubes and top the tower. Place the grid in the middle. Each player takes nine cubes. Roll all nine cubes. Player with the most of any color starts. In your turn, roll all nine cubes. Place any cube in the center of the grid. Face up, colors the facing color. Next player's turn, roll nine cubes. Roll face the color, carefully place it on top. Okay, so you're doing a tower. Take turns, one by one. Uh, if no cubes match the face of color, then you can't place it. Just turn. So you topple the tower. First player, place all the cubes without knocking over the tower wins. Yeah. 
Well, I guess these are games. <laughs> um, it's, it's cool to have these like uh, those little rubies things. That's kind of cool, I guess. Um, I'm glad it was only like four bucks. <laughs> I don't know if I could suggest picking this up unless, unless you're like a Rubik's fan. You gotta like complete every kind of Rubik's game you see. Maybe get this because it's so cheap. Uh, I guess the only reason it's more than a dollar is because there's so many components. Um, yeah. I don't know. Not the greatest, I don't think. I've never pl I haven't played these games. Because these just don't seem very fun. Um, 21. I don't know which one I even play. Pattern Shake maybe. Six the Shaker. Pattern Sentinels. You must match. That's probably the most Rubik's type, right? So I'm guessing you just place. So you shake. Shake all these up. Let's say it comes like this is the pattern. So then you have to make a grid like this in front of you with nine cubes. So you would have to like place the red, blue, orange, green, yellow, white, so on and so on. And I guess that's like a maybe a little bit cool for a racing type game. You can roll, 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 but it says you roll at the same time. So it's like roll, then go, it looks like. So, um, I was debating whether to take these out or not. Uh, what's nice, I guess I did take them out because you see there's little trays. So you go on the grid easily. That's a huge plus. That's nice. So you can stack it back up and clean it up a little bit easier than having to deal with like stacking these all the way up. You have all these cubes here. Uh, this is just a tray itself. Looks like. Yeah. That one doesn't come out. Um, then you put stuff in the shaker. Shake it up. And I guess what pattern falls. Do we think it's going to fall incorrectly? Okay, look at that. Hmm. So, kind of won some points with me there. I do like that. That's got to be, that's pretty fun to do. That was satisfying. Shake it up, catch your pattern. Then you're going to take your dice in the two-player game. Roll your dice, try to match that as fast as possible. Okay. I've changed my mind. <laughs> just for that, just because uh, how that felt in the mechanic-wise. It's, it's better than I thought. For the price, it's fine. Oh yeah, three ninety nine. All right, that's fine. Good components. It's small. It has these nice trays. We can put it back up easily. Make it look nice and neat. If I can see, stick this in here, maybe. Yeah. All, right. All right, that is the Rubik's roll five in one game. Shake rattle roll. So I haven't played it, so I can't score it, but then unboxing-wise, uh, started out kind of rough, and it got a little bit better at the end. It's not that great, like, game games, but it's worth the $3.99. Uh, please remember to like, comment, subscribe, and thanks for watching Triple R. Have a good day or night, wherever you are.